started writing this song back in 2015, and here we are. I don't know what to say. So let me tell you a story, warning How we live in a police state full of gore in your morning Media using scare tactics to make it fit black kids And the catch is you only hear distractions In city of sacks and cities of blacks While committees act and need peace to relax But truth is, oppression isn't done to one color The system wants you to have resentment towards another Listen, this whole madness is done to our whole mother Mother Earth that is Politicians talk about our children's future But only end up hurting the kids We've been made to think the law enforcement has our back But it seems like the goal is to attack and stab us in the back as a pack Now don't get me wrong, some cops are good Yet as a whole, they're here to uphold the violence in the hood They show up to instigate and spread hate Say how they're only doing their job Indeed the yard, they work for the mob The elite shot of government, whatever it's called they take orders to give orders, only to create more borders Some like to say that only a few cops are corrupt But really, they're the rotten apples of the bunch Sure, if some serious shit goes down, if there's a shooting at a mall, the cops will be who you'll call. This doesn't mean that a department is no longer dark and the dishonest is bombarded with corruption in the closet from the captain, lieutenant, and the sergeant. It's fucking ridiculous how people are so oblivious and how the system is treating us. Trying to keep racism alive and the hatism to divide. They're so meticulous and frivolous to limit us. There's enough to go around but forced to believe in littleness while deceiving us to think they have a reputation of benevolence. But really, they make you and me feel ambivalence. These cops will beat the shit out of you, break your ligaments, and leave you without an ambulance. You gotta ask yourself, who do these cops serve? The people or the elite? Swear to protect. Protect whom? So I guess would it simply respect any officer? Whether he's beating a girl that won't get off of her? <laughs> the law fears what they enforce, hence why they use their force to reinforce how we're supposed to respect a bunch of uniforms to coerce us to endorse their violent forms, or else we'll end up as a bunch of corpse. A swarm of cops show up for one dude is unarmed. And they wanna act like they're all tough and all hard? It's like a group of high schoolers picking on a little kid As if this now makes them all strong and legit You wanna be a cop or a detective cause you watch Blue's Clues Wanna stand for justice but refuse to have your video of harassment up on YouTube? No pun but I'm fed up with these police atrocities And acting fear to simply uphold their police policies Oppressing the people they claim to protect, they blame the jet So how do you expect us as a society to progress when they don't maintain respect? Yes, it's true, cops do lose their lives in unfortunate ways And my heart does go out But to be so trigger happy and get a badge Is an outlet for your aggressive ways And get paid to slay is straight up insane What about a psychological evaluation? Oh, but it's cool to shoot someone unarmed To be so pathological then have a paid vacation? So is it these cops just aren't truly being trained? Or do they get a free pass to harass and let it rain? Must be the latter Yeah, you got people saying blue lives matter When did they care about pulling an innocent black man off a stool eating While a bunch of white folk begin beating We live in a country where you can't even be black and walk down the cracks in the street Without a cop assuming he's walking around with crack and weed but what about Wall Street and politicians who steal from society and end up with the big bonus? Oh, I guess we're to turn a blind eye? That's fucking bogus. And we're just to sit by and listen to another lie from our POTUS? We've been lied to for far too long and it's best we stay cautious While doing our best to stay conscious Some white folks may want me to stop this Thinking blacks are thugs when the real thugs are sitting up in the Oval Office Up in the UN, the financial headquarters and up in Congress See, they want you to think it's only blacks that loot While ignoring whites usually unite right Still standing on the black man with your boot and the truth you mute The media won't talk about how the CIA funnel crack and cocaine into the streets of minorities To disrupt any and all change keeping them afraid of authority Infiltrating the brain to keep them insane So when you say people of color are mostly drug dealers and a bunch of thugs Realize it's the white man in a suit that's actually dealing the drugs I'm all for non-violence but what do you expect when you've been strangled for years to remain silenced? At some point you gotta fight back And while you're being strangled whether you're white or black Saying things like, it's all peace and love Won't all of a sudden make it go away cause life don't work like that Now I'm not saying to fight anger with anger But anger can be turned into passion and that passion can be used for love And understanding that is major so when a race of people have been abused and oppressed When their rights have been refused and suppressed And when they've been exploited and used and oppressed viewed as less We come to a point where we see their lives haven't mattered Their dreams, hopes and lives have been shattered 
So what's so hard to grasp when one says Black Lives Matter? Yes, statistically, there are more whites who were shot by police, but I guess we gotta ask the CIA and their media partners who uphold their policy of creating division as to why there was no honesty, probably because their motive is to push disharmony and non-equality. And I say to anyone hiding behind racism, lay to rest your insane ideology, your warped psychology, and stop hiding behind fallacy, thinking a different color means a completely different biology. No shit, all lives matter, but we gotta see. There's been a colony of hatred in our democracy, in every corner of this geography, targeting black lives at all times, and now is the time to end this animosity. And I can keep talking till I'm blue in the face, but it's time you realize we're all just one human race. So listen, forgive yourself and forgive those who've done you harm. Remember, there ain't no true revolution if we all don't come from the heart. So if you want true change in a new day, let today be the day where we start. And it starts with us taking a stand against injustice. You can try and fight the truth all you want, but a lie is a lie and the truth just is. It's a wake up revolution. Let us rise together. <laughs>